हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दी फर्स्ट पैकेट इंजेक्शन डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कुक अप एन आर्बिट्री पैकेट एंड इंजेक्ट इट इनटू द नेटवर्क नाउ फॉर डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन पर्पसेस दिस पैकेट विल नॉट कंटेन एनी हेडर इट्स जस्ट गोइंग टू बी अ पैकेट ऑफ साइज वन बाइट्स हुज एवरी बाइट कंटेन्स द नंबर फोर्टी which is nothing but the ascii value for capital a the point of this demonstration is to show that no matter how random or how junk filled the packet is it can still be inserted into the network what this shows is the amount of power a programmer has using packet injection via raw sockets now let's open up the code and just go through it once again we see our familiar function create raw socket which we encountered when we were doing the packet sniffing tutorial please refer to the raw sockets tutorial if you are unfamiliar with the create raw socket function i will not repeat its functionality here similarly the bind raw socket to interface basically binds the raw socket created to an interface this is once again the same function which we used in the raw socket sniffing tutorial please have a look there now as you can see there is a new function here called send raw packet and this takes in the raw socket through which the packet should be sent as input and the packet itself as input and the length of the packet now using this it just simply writes the packet on to the socket it's as simple as that a simple write on the socket and the packet is transmitted now let's look at the main function and try and see the logic behind this whole packet injection utility so as we have seen here raw is nothing but the raw socket which is created for packet injection and packet is nothing but the packet which you will inject we have defined packet underscore length as a hash define which maps to 1024 coming back so what we do is we set each and every byte of this packet to the value ascii capital a or 41 after that we create the raw socket itself is exactly the same way as we do while we write our sniffer code after that we bind the raw socket to the interface which is taken as input from the user in almost most cases arg v1 would be something like eth0 and after that we ask the user the number of packets to send that is the same packet the number of times it needs to be sent on to the network this we taken as arg v2 and after that we run a loop over number of packets and send the raw packet again and again in this loop now as you can see that the input to this is the raw socket itself the packet which we created with all 41s in it and the packet underscore length which is 1024 finally once we are done we close the raw socket very simple tutorial so let's try and summarize the way in which an arbitrary packet just got sent out onto the network the first thing which we do is create the packet in this case it's filled up with all ascii value a which is 41 then we go ahead and create the raw socket after that we bind the raw socket to the interface through which we want to inject this packet and then we send this packet onto that interface now let's try and compile this program simple gcc compiles error out eth01 now before running this program i just like to discuss ethereal for a minute so this is actually a packet sniffer called ethereal currently it's called wireshark and through this we will actually confirm that the packet has been injected so this sniffer is actually monitoring the network and as you can see right now there are no packets available 
now as i am injecting a packet containing all a's definitely it does not confirm either to the ip or to the tcp or to the r protocol because of which i have added this display filter which says not ip or tcp or r right now with this let's go back and execute our program packets and successfully let's look at what ethereal shows us now as you can see ethereal shows that it received a packet and as you can see the source address the destination address the protocol everything is nothing but a series of 41s packet is 1024 bytes and the ethernet header contains all 41s everywhere and so does the data and this is something which was very expected because we constructed a packet containing all 41s nothing but ascii value aa as you can see here in the ascii dump on the right hand side and we transmitted into the network so you can see the amount of power which packet injection via raw socket actually gives you right it gives you the power to send out anything and everything which you want any arbitrary header which you can cook up you can send it and this is the proof that it actually got sent on to the network is when we see the packet dump with ethereal with this i'd like to end the short tutorial in the next set we'll actually talk about how to create an ethernet header and just send it out selectively onto the network thank you